you said uh, in a recent interview that uh, Mr. Trump, when he's get when he gets reelected, try to call Kim Jong Un. What is he trying to achieve even after the Hanoi failure? Well, you know, really, there were three summits between Kim and Trump. Nothing concrete came out of any of them. Uh, I think we concluded at Hanoi. Certainly, Trump concluded at Hanoi that the North Koreans were not serious about giving up their nuclear weapons program. This is this is the nub of the issue, and has been from the beginning. North Korea can make all kinds of commitments. It can promise to do this. It can promise to do that. But what it really wants is economic benefits, and it'll promise a lot. To get relief from economic sanctions, to as in the agreed fr framework, get energy uh, provided to it. But when it comes down to actually giving up its nuclear weapons program, it doesn't do anything because it was never serious about doing it in the first place. The trouble is, Trump doesn't see foreign policy that way. He thinks that relations between nations are. Uh, the same as his personal relations with other heads of state. So he thinks if he has a good relationship with Kim Jong Un, then U.S. North Korean relations are good, which is obviously not true. Personal relations can be important, but Kim Jong Un knows what he wants, and just being friends with Donald Trump, or as Trump said, we fell in love. That that doesn't cut it when it comes to North Korean national interests. So that that's what. Uh, Trump doesn't fully understand, and that's where the danger lies. If if uh... Uh, Japan is moving fast to prepare for the second Trump era, Aso Daro, former Japanese Prime Minister, tried to meet him earlier this year, <clears throat> going all the way to New York. Also, ROK government, as far as I know, is trying to reach out to Trump's close, closest allies. But is it possible for allies like Korea or Japan to prepare for the second Trump administration? Because he seems very stubborn on the idea that U.S. should, you know, withdraw some U.S. troops on Korean Peninsula, spend less money on military defense for allies, etc. So, what advice would you give to the Korean government? Uh, the earliest uh, that the President Yoon can uh, speak with Trump after the election, if Trump wins, it's perfectly customary to call and congratulate somebody who's been elected. So. I would call if Trump wins and and there's no ambiguity about it. Call the day after the election. Don't waste any time, and then call you know uh, on on a regular basis. Don't uh, mm -hmm. wait until there's something you have to ask for. Just call and talk, or say you know I had this thought. What do you think of it? Always asking Trump's opinion. He loves to tell you what his opinion is. They say this is kind of aggravating way to have to deal with somebody, but I think it worked for Abe in Japan. I think Boris Johnson of the United Kingdom did something different. Circumstances were different from Abe's, but but Johnson's approach was not not too different. Uh, and I think it has worked in the past. There's no guarantee it will work in the future. There isn't any guarantee with Trump, but that would be my suggestion.